It's Randy Orton. Oh. Oh. I have voices in my head. They count to me. They understand. They talk. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Mr. Beat Away, and I know here. And today I'm coming at you with my SummerSlam 2016 predictions. Um, SummerSlam is obviously this Sunday, and it has the potential to actually be a really good show. I think you've got uh, a solid set of matches here. Um, definitely could be a great SummerSlam if um, you know all the matches we have um, deliver. So let's just kick off with um, a six women tag team match: Carmella, Becky Lynch, and Naomi taking on Natalia, Eva Marie, and Alexa Bliss. Um, this one, I kind of since it's been announced already, I've kind of gone back and forth on who I think is going to win this. Um, I'm deciding, though, to go with the heels. Um, Natalia, Eva Marie, and Alexa Bliss. I think Eva Marie will end up competing and actually getting the pinfall just to kind of piss off um, the crowd, get her over as a heel. And I think that just makes the most sense, really. Um, although I could, I would understand and see the faces winning, but I'm going to go with Natalia, Eva Marie, and Alexa Bliss. Uh, next, we have the first of the be first match in the best of seven series between Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, this should be a really good match, actually. I think um, you know these guys are pretty solid in-ring workers and work have had matches before that have been very good with one another. Um, as for who I think is going to go over, I'm thinking Sheamus will beat Cesaro here. Cesaro's won the last couple of times um, in the matches they've had on Raw previously. I do think those matches should have been in the best of seven series. That should have kind of kicked it off. Um, so this maybe should have been like match three, um, but Cesaro's won the last two matches. And usually this happens in best of seven series matches where the heel gets the upper hand early on in the best of seven series. I'm going to go with Sheamus. Uh, next we have Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. Uh, this actually could be a really fun match as well. I'm quite looking forward to this. I really do like the pairing of Jericho and Owens. I think, um, you know, they really work well off each other. Um, and I think Enzo and Cass, since coming up to the main roster, have gotten so over, and I'm really proud of them. And I'm I'm glad that they've gotten over because I think they're a really awesome team. I really en enjoy them. Um, I reckon that Enzo and Cass will get the win. As much as I do like Jericho and Owens, I think as a tag team, Enzo and Cass probably need that win more, personally. Uh, next we have uh, the New Day defending their tag team titles against the club, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson. Uh, and the build up to this has been interesting. You've had um, Gallows and Anderson as doctors, you know, talking about. And I, I, one thing I found quite funny, um, I don't know if this is a joke done on purpose, but obviously, you know, when Do uh, Luke Gallows was in New Japan, he was called Doc Gallows, and now he's, you know, Dr. Gallows. It's like, it's almost like they, that's a joke on that, whether it is or not, or a coincidence. So I still found it funny. Um, New Day, I, I, lo I, lo I, lo I know a lot of people have kind of gone off them a bit. I still find them in in entertaining, not as, as much as I used to, but they're still, f I think, pretty funny for the most part. But I do see them losing here to the club, I think. Um, probably due as well. New Day have had a very good run with the tag belts, so I think it's time we got a new, some new tag team champions. I think the club will get it. Uh, next, The Miz versus Apollo Crews. Uh, now, it's an interesting one here, I think. Apollo Crews is obviously being built up as a... He's someone who's going to really benefit from the band, the brand split, I think. He's kind of getting lost in the shuffle, but now that you know the brands are divided, he's going to get more TV time, and he's getting a chance at the Intercontinental title against The Miz. And Miz, I think, has been pretty entertaining this year. I've actually quite enjoyed his work. Definitely one of his best years. I think Miz is one of those people who's just at his best in that kind of mid-card heel role, personally. Um, who do I think is going to go over here? I'm going to go with, um, you know, I'm going to go with Apollo Crews. I think this is his time on a big stage like SummerSlam. Um, you know, I think this would be probably the best time to put the Intercontinental title with him. And you can ha maybe have a match with him and Miz at uh, Backlash, which I believe is the next pay-per-view. So next we get on to the United, the United States Championship. Um, Rusev defending against Roman Reigns. Now, I kind of... The, the Reigns going off the US belt, I'm actually cool with, because I think it's giving the US um, title more credibility, the fact that someone like Roman Reigns going for it. It's getting featured more on TV, um, and also since it's the only single title on Raw um, until the Universal title arrives, it's getting a lot of exposure, um, which I like, personally. Um, this feud's been alright. I mean, the... Roman Reigns has not been that horrible like on the mic. He's been somewhat enjoyable. He's been somewhat decent actually. Rusev has as ever has been great. Um playing like the you know, I just love Rusev at the minute. I've been really digging him since he broke from the League of Nations. I just find him so funny and so entertaining, so um I think and also considering Reigns pinned Rusev on Raw um in a non title match, I'm expecting Rusev to hold on to the US belt. 
There'll probably be some sort of shenanigans where Reigns, um, I don't know, gets counted out or DQ'd or whatever. But regardless, I think Rusev is holding on to that United States Championship, personally, anyway. And next, we'll look at John Cena versus AJ Styles. Now, definite, definite match, match of the year contender right here. They had a great match of Money in the Bank. Not quite a classic, but I think definitely they're going to go all out here. The big, the biggest, one of the biggest um, events of the year for WWE. So I think these two guys really want to prove, especially AJ as well. Um, and I've actually really enjoyed this feud. I think it's been very, very good actually. I like the um, the the promos back and forth between these two have actually been really good. And AJ has proved a lot of people wrong by saying, "Oh, he's not that good on the mic." I think he's been very good since turning heel. Um, I've actually really enjoyed AJ Styles on the mic and the beat up John Cena thing I think is pretty cool actually. So yeah, I, I'm finding that really, just really entertaining in general and I think this feud is definitely one of the better feuds of this year. Um, and the matches have been pretty solid. Like the match of Money in the Bank they had was great. The match of Battleground with Enzo and Cass and the club, it was a fun six-man tag. I thought it was definitely a good match. Um, now as for who's going over here, I've kind of ummed and ahmed. Um, I'm going to go safe and say that Cena wins. As much as I would like AJ Styles to win, I can just, I can just vision John Cena picking up the win here over AJ Styles, which I personally don't think is the right move, but I think that's what they may do and have Cena go over here against AJ Styles, which, I, as I said, I don't think they should do it, but it's the WWE. They're, they love John Cena and he's probably going to win. So that's what I think should happen. Uh, next, Sasha Banks defending the women's title against uh, Charlotte, and then the book Brooke is banned from ringside. Now, I think this match um, has the potential to actually be very good. Actually, like you've got, you know, they've really, really improved the women's division in general. Like you know, and these are two of the best um, in the women's division, um, ba Sasha Banks and Charlotte, and. Um, I definitely see this getting a lot of time. Like you've got these two who can really just go in the ring, um, and uh, you know, definitely, definitely a um, a sleeping giant. I think in terms of match quality, I think it could definitely be uh, very good. As who I think is going to go over here, I've got to go with Sasha Banks. You know, she's just got the belt recently. Wouldn't really make much sense to sort of take it off her so quickly, and I just personally think. Um, Charlotte before had the belt and it was, you know, she had a good run but I think it's time for some change we've got that change and I think it's going to continue uh, here so, uh, right, next we'll get on to the uh, WWE world title match as Dean Ambrose uh, the champ defends against Dolph Ziggler, now I think um, again, it can be another really great match I think the main the main tier matches uh, have the potential to be very good and this is one of them, I think. Um, I've really enjoyed the program going into this match. Ziggler teething, being a heel. Ambrose as well, blurring the lines between heel and face. Um, you know, the kind of back and forth promos I think have been very good as well. Ambrose saying how Dolph just isn't good enough. And Ziggler saying how he needs to win, he needs to prove himself. I've really enjoyed this. Um, I think Ambrose will go over. I think, he again, he's not had the belt that long. They're obviously going to want to... I think he'll get a nice little run... Um, as the champion on SmackDown. However, I do see this... I could see potentially Bray Wyatt interfering in this. He's not got a match on the card. I could see them putting him in the title match, maybe at Backlash, making it a triple threat. So you could possibly have Dean Ambrose interfere... Dean Ambrose? Bray Wyatt interfere and uh, in this match and maybe Kossigler an opportunity or whatever. So then we have the triple threat at the next pay-per-view. So I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose to retain the belt. And uh, next, the new Universal Championship is up for grabs. Uh, Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. Um, I think this, again, match of the year contender easily. These two, I think, will probably have the match of the night. Um, you know, just two great in-ring workers, two great athletes. Um, now, I'm kind of, I'm, again, I'm umming and ahhing about who will win this. Um, I'm honestly fine with either winning, you know. I, I think it would be interesting if they had Balor win and then... You know, like, say, Allo, uh, Gallows and Anderson cost Rollins a matchup, and then we have, like, a the Balor Club. It's like a heel stable, and you kind of switch the roles. Or you could just have Rollins go over, which I'd be cool with. Um, or you could have Gallows and Anderson side with Rollins, actually, I think, which could be an interesting dynamic. However, again, I'm going to play it safe here. I'm going to go with um, Seth Rollins to be the first Universal Champion. Now, next, uh, we've got Brock Lesnar 
taking on Randy Orton, which you know, I would think will probably be the main event. It probably makes the most sense as well. Um, again, the build has been pretty solid. Um, I still think the segments they did on Raw and SmackDown last week should have been the go-ho segments with, you know, Orton RKOing Lesnar out of nowhere and then Lesnar appearing on SmackDown. I think that would have made more sense, personally. But, yeah, the, few, the build ups have been pretty solid. I'm really looking forward to this match. It's a match that... You know, a big time match we've not seen before. I know they competed on SmackDown in like 2002, but that was when Orton wasn't established yet. Now these two are both established stars. I'm really excited to see how this goes. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna go with Brock Lesnar to go over here. I think um you know the per the person in my opinion who should beat Lesnar is someone who's kind of up and coming or someone who WWE are going to invest a lot of time into. Someone who's going to be here for a long time. And Orton, I don't think is someone who will be that person but i could see him going over however i think lesnar probably will go over and that's my choice so i hope you guys enjoyed this predictions for SummerSlam. um you know follow me on twitter follow me on ask.fm uh like the video and if you haven't already subscribe and uh thanks for watching guys